Welcome well. back to Tea and Toys. Yes, this is another retro pickup. And again, it is mask. Really back into the mask stuff, but only want to pick up the figures, how they were when they appeared in the original TV show. Not interested in the split seconds or the laser blasts or the action pack, although we did have two as children. So we're going to pick up. I've got two lots. So I've got the masks for the Goliath versions of Matt Tracker and Chief Nevada Rushmore. It's actually the only version you can get. So, but normally this is for the masks. I got the masks. I did get two of the figures with them. But the paint jobs on those figures are absolutely horrendous. So as you can see by the mask, Matt Tracker's shroud mask. Whereas the totem mask has actually come out really well, actually. So this actually isn't too bad on him. There he is. That's the detail there. I love the sculpting of this old stuff. It's so good. Which is why I want to do that Kickstarter campaign where I can produce figures of this scale and size with this articulation across many, 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 many franchises. What I want to do, what I want to cover, but again, I need help with that. So if you want to see it, just look at that video. But here he is. The Shroud Mask, you see it's a bit, bit battered, but I'm just happy to say I've got one in my collection. So I now have a complete number four Matt Tracker and a complete Chief Nevada Rushmore there with the Totem Mask. Not the best power set on the Totem Mask, it fires little totems. A bit silly. Where Shroud could it just creates this big black cloud so it can cover things, so he's sort of hidden. So you can't sort of lock on him with firepower. And the main box I got was this for, again, mask for Hondo McLean. And it's actually the rubber version, it's the rubbery version, not the plastic version. So there's Hondo, Hondo number two, with the Blaster two. And what this came with was the Hurricane, also known as Night Stalker in the cartoon. This replaces Firecracker, which was destroyed, I think midway through series one, although it, it is rebuilt some episodes later, but this becomes Hondo's main vehicle. And it's not something I was particularly after, I was only really after the figure for the mask in this set, because this one is actually much better paintwork than the other Hondo number two that I had. And a little bit more, more money than what I would have wanted, but it's good to say I've got bits, so just need that second Buddy Hawks, Glory's helmet, Boris Bushkin's helmet, and I think I'm done with mask. I'm, I'll, I'll be happy. I'm not too bothered about repairing and getting all the bits and bobs for the vehicles. I, I just I, I just want the figures. That's what we had as kids mostly. But any vehicles that do come my way, I'm keeping. A battered, beaten up, doesn't bother me. So here it is. It runs quite well. It is missing the back wheel flip thing, so you can't sort of launch that back wheel anymore. Off of there. Well, let's get it in tank mode. Let's just slide them out of the way. So let's transform Hurricane. So what do you do? You pull out the two cannons at the front there. And then you pull out the disc blade at the back here. And then I think you flick that up and then you get the extra tank wheels and you can flick up this bit here bring down the top turret and there you have your fully fledged 57 Chevy as a tank absolute beast of a mask vehicle this one but not one of my favorites and what you do is you put Honda up here like that like so so you can sort of shoot out like that and there he is with his full hurricane or Night Stalker vehicle, however you want to call it. But my issue I have with some mask vehicles, like I actually consider this one not to be a great mask vehicle, if I'm honest. There's this cockpit over there. For a few reasons. That it's basically a tank that can be disguised as a 57 Chevy. Now what do I mean by that? What do I mean by that? Okay. So I've got Raven here one of the all-time best mask vehicles and my favorite but I think this was actually a second-hand pickup and I think I may have <laughs> in hindsight when I realize it may have sold off the wrong one many moons ago because what this one doesn't have is the seat belts it looks like they've been pulled out <sighs> but I think the other one had a wheel missing which is probably why I did that originally and I said this is like 10-15 years ago when I sold that one off but the reason why I consider the Hurricane here to be not what I want a mask vehicle to be, because like I said, it's a, a tank that disguises itself as a 57 Chevy. 
Because in order to get Honda McLean in your vehicle, so if you want to get him in there, driving along as a 57 Chevy, your child playing with this, you so tuck the tank turret away. Mm, oh no, let's have some fisty cuffs. So you can't get out the doors. You can't open the doors on this vehicle. He has to come out the tank top, which then activates this gun, activates the tank turret, and then you can finally get your Honda McLean out. Now, with Raven. Now, I get it. Most car doors don't open this way. Well, I do have Calhoun, but he's not so ready to hand, so let's get him out here. So with the Raven here, you could actually have Raven as a car, driving around as a car, you can open the doors as a car, so you can just have it, well, like I said, as a car. So you don't have to semi-transform the Raven in order to enjoy it as both a normal car and your seaplane, like so. I don't know how cool that is. I do have plenty of spares of these. Oh, how can you not like this? This is clearly one of the best mass vehicles alongside Manta. Again, probably the best mass vehicle is Manta. But this is Raven, and you can have it as a seaplane, you can have it as the sub as well. Also, what makes Raven a superior mask toy is, is that yes, you can fit in two of your characters and you can transform the vehicle without having to remove any of the figures. Like some of them you have to take them out and sit them elsewhere. But this for me is a great mask vehicle when, especially, especially when you compare it to Hurricane here. Because like, like I said, get them out, you have to activate part of the tank mode. Whereas this guy can be a plane, to transform it from plane to car without having to remove your figures. How I rate mask vehicles is if you can have it as a car, play with it as a car, but also play with it as its alternate mode. So again, it's flipping it out. You can also enjoy it with the plane without interfering with either mode. Whereas Hurricane, as you just saw, I have to make it into a partial tank in order to enjoy it as a car. So yeah, it's not, for me, the best one. Like, personally, I actually preferred Firecracker as a vehicle. It comes with that really cool, like, spare bike, and it just does this, and it sort of, like, lifts up to the side, and like, reveals all these guns here. Whereas the Hurricane, it's okay. It's a great toy. Don't get me wrong. It's a great toy for children. Lots of fun. But in hindsight, as a fan thinking back, and I've sort of reviewed all the mass vehicles in my head, so I might go through them in another video. If you want it, hey, you know what I'd do it anyway. But leave comments all the same. What I think makes a good or great or bad mass vehicle. Bad mass vehicle, probably all of the split seconds because they're terrible. Like this, for me, great tank, weak car, great car, great seaplane. Well, what do you think of the Hurricane? What do you think of the mask pickups I've got here for both Chief Nevada Rushmore, Matt Tracker number four, and Honda McLean number two? Don't forget to love, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next retro pickup video.